Hey beautiful people, I'm back with another video. It's been so long, but it's good to be back. There's just so much we're going on, of course. But as you can see by the title, um, this video is on why I feel young ladies should wait or consider waiting to get any type of cosmetic surgery, you know, nose job, BBLs, uh, tummy tucks, whatever you want to call it, lifting your cheekbones, <laughs> all that. I think a lot of young ladies should consider waiting on that. It's because I feel you should at least give your time, give your body time to develop. You know, we all have a natural rhythm of growth in our bodies and just waiting just to see what you will look like, what your body will grow into before doing anything, especially if you are in your teens, your late 20s, because you really don't start developing until, you, honestly, you really don't start developing until your 30s, mid 30s, late 30s. All jokes aside, I didn't really start developing until very late 30s, like 39, like, into my like early 40s you don't know what you're gonna look like you just gonna you might grow into your nose you might you know your your hips gonna spread and then if you have a child if you have a child you you definitely gonna grow into your body you know it takes time because I feel like it's all about self-acceptance also you have to be you have to know who you are you have to love who you are you can't like really listen to what other people say because a lot of times when people would tell you, oh, you should do this, or you should wear that, or you should look like this by now, or why haven't you gained this, or why haven't you done this yet? If you keep listening to what other people saying, it's not gonna help. Like that's like you're, you're, you're waiting for somebody else to validate your life basically. And not only that, a lot of people say things to make you feel some way because of their insecurities, People say things because they, in a way, low-key want to look like you and they want you to look like them. Sometimes they want you to look a certain way because they can't take seeing you the way you look. So just be happy with how you look at the moment because honestly, your body is, is going to develop, trust me. I started spreading like at 40. I finally grew onto my nose. I always thought I had a big nose, and I don't even know why I thought that, but because I look back at pictures like, you know, I'm busy listening to what other people saying. Although a lot of people, I never really had anybody say anything bad about me, you know, about my looks and stuff like that. But what I did hear a lot was, oh, yes, why? You need to gain some weight. Look like you lost weight. You need to put on some weight, you know? Sometimes relationships also, the type of relationships you are in will, you know, when you're in a certain relationship, you're either going to lose weight or gain weight. Either your hair going to fall out or it's going to grow. Your skin going to start glowing or you're going to get acne. It depends on the person you're with. It depends the type of people that you surround yourself with. All that really determines how you look on the outside because there's certain energies that will dim your light and certain energies that will lift you up spiritually, you know? It's, it's all within yourself. It's a, it's, a, it's a soul, you're basically soul searching, you know? And you have to, so you really have to um, really decide who's like really for you in life because certain people will deter you, some people will make you look a certain way. I know certain relationships that I was in made me lose weight and I was looking run down and then other relationships they make me look you know like alive that's how you know you in the right circle also that's how you know so you have to just like just give your body time to develop you know you just eat the right foods you don't drink or you don't smoke sometimes you got to move out different situations you got to move from where you was, you know, like when I was living in Brooklyn, I felt like I was depressed a lot. I was lacking vitamin D because I wasn't getting enough sun, you know, and, and, and to me personally, New York, I felt like I was just hustling, rushing, and just, it's just a lot, you know, and it's a lot of competition, it's a lot of people, and I need to be where there's peace and tranquility and sun and palm trees that's where I personally that's what I need in my life to to grow and that's what I need in my life to like um 
you know, just prosper and, and, and look a certain way, look healthy, basically. That's, that's the person, that's me. Everybody else is different. You have to go where you're venerated. You have to go where you where you feeling good, you know? So, um, basically, yeah. So, that's the um, whole point of this video. I'm sorry, guys. That's the whole point of this video. To so just go where you're venerated. Go what makes you feel good, what makes you thrive. So, you don't have to do certain things. I'm sorry. So you don't have to do certain things to your body because if, if you doing if you doing any type of cosmetic surgery and not um, if you doing any type of cosmetic surgery to your body, especially if you like in your 20s and your 30s, by the time you get by the time you hit your 40s, your body is already deteriorating. It's not looking like what it's supposed to be looking. Give your body time to grow. Give your body time to thrive and flourish and bloom like a flower. That's what you that's what you have to do. So I don't know guys. At the end of the day, it's it's really your decision. Everybody Everybody makes their own decision and you know hopefully this decision that you make don't run down your body <laughs> just take your time it's slow pace no rushing eating right drinking right being in the right circle you know and if you do decide if you really if that's really something that you want to do ladies if you really want to do any type of cosmetic surgery or anything like that make sure you go to the right doctors don't just go to anybody who's going to fuck up your body. Make sure you go to the right place. Make sure you take somebody with you. Make sure you do your research. That all means a lot. You just can't just go to anything, spend any old, dropping any old money, and you're not getting the good results. And you have to upkeep your body. Don't think just because you're doing cosmetic surgery, that's it. You still have to eat right because, really, that's not your body. You got work done. You got to make sure that you, you, you gotta make sure that you take care of your body afterwards. That's just like when a girl perm her hair, she thinks that's it. No, you gotta still deep condition your hair. You still gotta take care of your hair because that's not your natural, that's not your natural hair, you know? That's not how your hair grows out of your scalp. So you gotta take care of your body once you get that done. You, you can't just let it go, you know? You gotta keep, now you gotta keep that look up. <laughs> And that's the hard part. Like, I don't want to... See, that's the thing. That's another thing I wouldn't... Why I would never get any type of surgery done because... First of all, I'm already 40, 42. So, that you may as well just... I already develop. I, this is how I'm going to look. Right? If I look like this now, this is how I'm going to look for the rest of my life. Until maybe I turn 60 and then I might really start aging. But after that, I, I don't think... This is me. This is my size. This is how I'm going to look. I'm always going to be like, I've always been on a petite side, but I always had curves. But this is how I'm going to look. If you're 30 and you're 40 and you're looking the way you look now, that's really how you're going to look. You have to take care of yourself. Don't get no cosmetic surgery. Don't get no nose job. Don't get no facelift. Don't get no BBL. You're not going to take care of your body afterwards because at the end of the day, your body's still going to age. You're going to age. And whatever they put in your body also, ladies, is chemicals. Just like the perm that we put in our hair, it's chemicals. It goes into our scalp. Like, all that really matters. And that's going into your bloodstream. Like, that's a lot you really have to consider. Like, think twice before doing anything like that. That's really something you have to consider. If you really think about it. So, I don't know, that was just sitting on my heart, because, you know, I be on t a lot of, watching a lot of TikTok videos, and I'm like, I be seeing these girls getting lip fillers, and they already have filled, full lips like mine. I be seeing black girls getting lip fillers, I'm like, why? There's other girls trying to look like you. I don't, I, I don't get it. Like, the world is backwards. Skinny girls want to be thick. Thick girls want to be slim thick. Like, nobody's never really satisfied anymore. <laughs> and it's... And it's mind blowing. It don't. 
And trust me, I fall for perfect because I wanted, I always wanted the nose job. I thought my nose was too big, but I grew into it and I love my nose. I embrace it. Like, I love the way I look now. I thought I was so hairy. I used to shave my sideburns all the time. Look, look at this. I'm hairy back here, here. I have a hairy forehead, but I love it. I don't want to look like everybody else, you know? That's boring because, you know, normal is not why you love me. <laughs> I like looking different. So I embrace being hairy. I embrace my nose. I embrace my little booty. I, I embrace it all. And I think, you know, ladies, you should embrace it too. And I hope this video helped. Peace out.